earlier this year, I made a decision that I was going to pre-record some of my lessons and uh, make them available uh, for purchase because I receive a lot of inquiries, which is amazing. I mean, sometimes I'm like, wow, how do people even hear of me? But word of mouth gets out there. Um, I get a lot of inquiries and I just can't get to everyone because then I stretch myself too thin and I need to stay focused in my own acting career as well. Um, so I basically teach, I used to teach more in group format, uh, but now I teach one-on-one. -on -one. I've been doing that for years. And so the one-on-one, -on -one, <laughs> there's only so many hours in the day, right? <laughs> and I'm either teaching lessons one-on-one -on -one or I'm coaching, which I love. So the difference for me is when I'm teaching, I'm teaching the craft of acting and the elements that make an artist an artist. But when I'm coaching, someone comes to me with an audition and I'm prepping them to do the best they can for that particular audition. So that's the difference to me. So when it comes to lessons and people reach out to me, um, I can't help everyone. So this was my response to those inquiries, especially because so many of those inquiries are beginners. So when I do help the beginners, which is always fun, and besides, Sammy, you would agree with me as a seasoned actor, the basics never go away. It's all about the basics. Right? So me as an acting teacher, repeating it every day, it's actually quite helpful for me as an actress because I don't forget the basics, right? I am always going over it. But it does become really, um, really taxing on me as an artist to have to repeat it that often to different individuals one-on-one. -on -one. So I thought, how could I help my business grow without stretching myself too thin? And I decided to pre-record my lessons and sell them. So that's what I have done. And I have decided to market this towards beginners. Now, uh, some people who are seasoned actors don't want to refer to themselves as beginners, and I get that. However, we could all use a refresher. And let's not pretend that's not true. I teach every day. I come across students every day that go, what's that? I don't remember, <laughs> right? Yeah, so essentially I, just, I sat down and I decided what does a beginning actor need to learn? At least if they were to come to me for lessons, what would I be teaching them? Because I don't want these pre-recorded lessons to be a substitute for acting class because I feel too strongly that acting class is important, especially the element of performance. So if someone's watching a video on acting, that doesn't make them an actor. They're just learning the basics. They're getting information, which is why you go to acting class, you learn the information, but then you're supposed to implement the information. And that's the element that you don't get in these lessons. So you can't call this a replacement for acting class, but you can look at this as a refresher, or if you're brand new, you're learning the stuff that you would normally learn with me one-on-one -on -one over a course of what, 17 weeks? If you're only coming to me once a week, it would take 17 weeks and then some to learn the lessons that you're already learning through the series that I created. So I have created 17 videos, each video focusing on a specific topic of acting. Each video length is about a minute and a half to seven minutes. After the full 17 videos, there's a quiz. <laughs> of course there is, because I'm a teacher, so I need to check. And if you are a visual learner, then you watch the lessons. I've also captioned everything. If you're auditory, you can watch and listen. And if you're tactile, I've created a guidebook that you can print out and hold in your hand, turn the pages, follow along. Each lesson is bullet pointed in the form of a question, so it activates your brain. Even the quiz is transcribed, and so is the answer sheet. So it is all there. 